I love this then. Yeah, well. Is this the interview? Yeah, we're just talking. <laughs> yeah. This is how we do things. I don't know. Uh, Philly's pretty laid back, pretty chill. We climb poles and stuff. We grease up poles and we climb them, apparently. I don't that know. That is not chill. I don't know, Lizzo. Mm. Uh, you've been in Philadelphia for the night, right? Did you get into anything? Any fun? I got here yesterday. I had to do, I, well, I did a tour um, because the radio station wanted me to go on a tour. So we went to um, the Rocky Stairs. It sucks that they're called the Rocky Stairs. There's a real name for those stairs, right? Thank you. Yeah, the th Museum yeah, there's, of there's, Modern. Uh, there's like art in there. The Museum yeah. of Modern Rocky Stairs. <laughs> and then I ran up that. I was so tired. And then we went to the Love Statue. And then we went to um, the Liberty Bell. And then I got a Philly cheesesteak. So Ooh, you I did it? like everything. Jay, um, the one right here. Ooh, Jim's. That's a good one. It was actually incredible. Yeah, Jim's. It was my, my first one. The first one and the best one, probably. Ooh, it was fire. You did it right. It was fire. Nice. So we did that. And then um, I went to the studio, got drunk, you know. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I saw your Instagram story. I put it on silent because it's a song that it's yeah. a, we were just writing it. It was so good. Me I, and Taylor Parks. I feel like when I watch your Instagram, I'm like, my life is so boring. My life, I'm like sitting at home watching Shark Tank, and you're like doing awesome stuff. Yeah, you're, I mean, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> not gonna say not gonna, your life yeah, ain't boring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna argue with you. Yeah. But, but is that like one of the reasons, like your your social media and stuff like that, when your fans get to see the real you? Do you think that's one of the reasons why you are where you are? Sold out show here in Philadelphia, one of three. Um. It's crazy. I don't know, because I, I mean I think people do like me a lot. People liked me more than they liked my music back in the day. You know what I mean? Which is kind of cool. And then my music got really good, and so now they like all of it. But um, I think social media is a great tool to connect with people. Um, and connect with your fans then instead of waiting on the label to make something cute. Like, you know what I mean? I can do a meet and greet on my phone, on my Instagram live. You know what I mean? And I think that that's really powerful. It makes people feel really connected to you. And I'm also very TMI. So you're seeing everything. You know what I mean? I don't really hold back. Yeah, the video of you uh, posing like Toy Story. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, they killed me. And then you're like, you just flipped off the camera. I just, I just feel like you're so real, so authentic, so genuine. I feel like... Right, we got winners right here. We're, we're ready to meet you. I feel like they just get it. Y'all won, yeah. This is better than Instagram Live, though, because it, it is better than IG Live. Person. Real person. Yeah. This is great. What else are we doing? What y'all want to talk about? Oh, uh, we're just chatting. What do you want to talk about? Do you watch Game of Thrones? No. You don't watch Game of Thrones? I don't watch it. You're too busy and to watch Game of Thrones. I'm, I am, and that sucks because I'm, I'm a, like a fantasy nerd. Like I loved, I read Lord of the Rings like long time ago when I was little and The Hobbit, I used to love the cartoon movie The Hobbit before, you know, all the big movies. But when Game of Thrones started, I didn't have like television or nothing like that. And I was just kind of like doing like the indie shit in Minneapolis and I just didn't have access. Yeah. And now it's this huge thing. It's like the final season, right? Yeah. I feel like it's one of those Tomorrow's things Tomorrow's the last episode. You're lying. I swear to God. Start binging now. I will say, I know that Arya Stark listens to my music. That's Whoa. all I know. Wow. That's pretty badass. She That's all you need. She listens to Truth Hurts. That's awesome. That's all you need. She's 100% Ar that well, bitch. Right now, like, I know you're not watching, but Arya's like, kicking ass this season. So. Oh, that's why they said that. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's like the <laughs> biggest cosign you need is Arya Stark. There you go. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, what, what do you watch then? If you have downtime, what are you, what are you binge watching? Well, I don't have downtime. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I just have uptime. You have uptime. Um, I watch Drag Race, but I'm behind on RuPaul's Drag Race right now because wow. the tour has just been so insane. Yeah. But um, I saw, I got a spoiler, though, about <laughs> someone who I wanted to win who went home. I'm just heartbroken. Are you caught up? <laughs> oh, my God. Miss Vanjie. I know. Don't even tell me. Don't break my heart. I'm so lost right now. Miss mm -hmm. Banji. So, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm like, that. sir, it sounds good. You know what? I'm kind of a, I'm a guest to television shows. So I like pop in and be like a guest. Like I stepped in on, um, what's that show about the family with Mandy Moore? This is us? This is us. Did you I, cry? I like walked in on an episode and I, and I cried and I was like, I don't know how y'all do this every week. It takes two seconds to cry at a This Is Us episode. It's yep. so hard. You to don't even watch. know what's going on. It's like that's just sad. I just st literally just popped in on an episode, <laughs> but it also <laughs> happens to be the episode where Jack died. Oh, what? And I was like, this is quite, I, it quite broke the timing. My heart. It broke my heart. I was like, oh my god, you guys watch this every week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you doing it's this to yourself? Crazy. So oh I, god. I couldn't watch that show anymore. But I, I'll step in on shows. Wow. Yeah. But I'm not like a television. 
No. Buff. Well, like we said, but you're too busy. I mean, we saw you at the Met Gala. We were just like looking at your photos from the Met Gala. Like, damn. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is that your first time at the Met Gala? It was. Well, tell me that experience, because like I'm just like looking through Instagram, like seeing people dressed up. Like, what's that like? It's like prom. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a way more fun, cooler prom, because prom was awful. I don't know. Some people have cool proms. I think like. This generation's proms are cooler. Like, now that we have social media, prom is just way more fun. But back before, Instagram prom was so awful. Yeah, I had prom before Instagram. Oh, so bad. Yeah, I'm 32, so there was no Instagram at my prom. Yeah, man, people pulling up in, like, Maseratis yeah. dressed as Batman. They take the Batman <laughs> thing off and have a tuxedo on. And <laughs> girls showing up, like, in an ambulance dead, and then <laughs> her date kisses him, and then she comes back to life. Have y'all seen this shit? Like, yeah. if that was my prom, I would have had so much more fun yeah. if I was flexing for social media. But anyway, Met Gala is kind of like a pre-Instagram prom. I guess so. Well, actually, yeah, and it's popping. You just, you walk up the stairs, and then you go inside, and then you just get drunk, and all the famous people who are fans of you that never get to meet you just run up to you and say, I'm such a huge fan. And you're like, really? So who what? was that person? Who did you, like, I mean, it yourself? I mean, just, like... <laughs> Everybody, like I sat down. <laughs> it was so Everybody, loud. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe my experience was different than other people's, but I just sat down and then like Tracy Ellis Ross came over to me and then Solange came over to me and then Idris Elba came over to me. I'm sitting like at the table with RuPaul. Um, it was just wild. I was like It's insane. What? <laughs> like nowhere else can you have that experience. It was but crazy. Yeah. It's wild. And then Coachella. We saw you over at Coachella. Coachella was cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good experience over there? Um, yes. Yeah. It was a, it was, um, we learned a lot. Yeah. It was like, I'm having a lot of growing pains right now because I'm rapidly, like my album was about to come out and I went from being like a kind of well-known artist to like, oh shit, let's go. Yeah. It's on and popping, you know, number one iTunes, like top 10 on the charts. So I think that like I'm learning how to catch up with my career right now mm -hmm. and I think Coachella was a huge lesson on that but I partied I had so much fun yeah I went I went hard you know they I was doing shit the night before my show that people were like this you're a singer you shouldn't <laughs> be in a hot tub on mushrooms till seven <laughs> and yes. I was like fuck it let's go That's awesome. <laughs> good for you I feel like what's what's your feeling like now that your album is taken off like you said it, it has like what does that what does that make you feel like it makes me feel good because i put a lot of work into the um the album and i've listened to this album every day since august last year so i was like man this shit is so good dog like i just hope that people because i was listening to it like i couldn't even believe how good it was you know what i mean <laughs> there's like certain songs where i'm like i wrote this like what the hell so i i was just hoping that the world would agree even a little bit because every time i put projects out i do grow I grow my fan base and I grow my my in my ticket sales, but it's never been like this. Yeah. It normally takes like a few months or something to get to like a million views or so, or a million streams. But I put Juice out January fourth, and then like days later, they were like, "You already hit a million streams. You already hit a million yeah. views," and it's just going, going, going. And now it's going to radio. Radio stations are playing, and I was like, "What? That had never happened before in all of the years that I've been putting out music." So I knew that this album was going to be a little bigger and a little different. And so I've been bracing myself since Juice came out for everything that's happening now. It's shit is wild. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, well, you put your heart and soul into the album. Um, Soulmate is one of them. So yeah, like, I love that song. Yeah, for That's sure. That's one of the songs where I'm like, I made this. Yeah. So like, you're putting yourself mm -hmm. out there. Like, you're putting your heart on your sleeve. So like, is it? It gotta be extra for you too. Like, you know, being a singer songwriter, like pouring your heart and soul. Like, people are like latching onto it. Like. Yeah. Like I, it's I'm, insane. You know, and I'm being very vulnerable on this album too. Yeah. But I'm still, you know, a bad bitch. So you know, <laughs> it's just hard. You know what I mean? Like, I'm still yeah. a bad bitch. So you can't kill me. Like that's. That's the beauty of it all. But um, yeah, I'm being vulnerable. I'm putting myself out there and people are really connecting to the stories I'm telling because they see themselves in these stories. They've been through what I've been through. And I, I write songs about the person that I wanna be sometimes. And I think that people can um, connect with that too because we all wanna be happier. We all wanna be body positive. We all wanna be free and you know, we all wanna be bad bitches, so. I wanna be a bad bitch. I like know. when I heard Juice, that's all I needed. I was like, I love her. Yeah. I saw the video. I saw the video, and I was like, I just want to, I just want to like be her best friend. Like, she's, <laughs> you're awesome. 
I love the video. <laughs> the video is so good. You love the Juice video, right? It's juice cute. video is classic. It's cute. So good. We're playing Juice and we're playing <coughs> Truth Hurts on 96.5 TDY. So we are big Lizzo fans. Yay. Is there, uh, is there a favorite of yours to perform? Um, as of now, I love performing Soulmate. Yeah. I think Soulmate is, um, you'll see tonight. It's just like so fun. Y'all coming to the show tonight? They all got tickets. They all won 96.5. Okay, great. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Sold out, but they uh, they won their tickets. So. Yeah, Soulmate Soulmate's is my one. favorite to perform on this tour because nice. it's just it just go up and we just have this like New Orleans bounce twerk moment. It's just it's really fun. Um, singing is hard, bro. Like I've never <laughs> had songs. <laughs> I've never had songs that sound like that are from this part of my voice. Like I had one before, like on Coconut Oil, my EP, I had Worship. And that was the only song out of all of them where I'm just like, ah! But now all of the songs have moments like that and I'd be up there like, damn, why did I write it this high? <laughs> <laughs> so the singing, the what singing. What I do to myself, why? I, what did I do? I, I torture myself. But it's fine, I still, I still kill it. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> and well, Philadelphia obviously loves you. You're doing three shows here in Philadelphia this year. You know that, right? Oh shit! Really? Yeah, uh -huh. I figured. I, I thought to myself, like, she probably doesn't even know because you're everywhere. When you said first of three, I was like, Yeah. So all right, we're so you going got in DC tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so okay. you got you got TLA tonight. Okay. You're coming back um, at the Met in what's it, October? I think it is the later Met, on the year. What, is that like a bigger one? Uh, I think it might be bigger. Yeah, is it a bigger one? I think it's bigger. <laughs> and then you're performing at Made in America, our big festival, La Labor Day. I'm so excited. Dude, you have no idea how big that festival is. Well, maybe you do. Well, I, I played it. Okay, so I played it two years ago, and I remember then I was like, Jay Z knows who I am. And yeah. I was like so excited, and we performed. Um, uh, outside or whatever. Of course, it's outside, and it was like this cute crowd. Like we had really brought. We drew a crowd, and I was, like, so proud of myself. And then I walked off stage, and then all of a sudden, because Cardi B was right after me. Mm -hmm. And then this is before. This oh, that's is like, amazing. Yeah, this Because you guys are both performing this year. Cardi's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and we're that's back. Wild. We're that's back. Wild. But um, this was right before. This is when Bodak Yellow, I think, was about to be number one. It was, like, okay. but it was still huge. It was, like, a street record. Yeah. And, like, I was like, okay, Cardi, yeah, that's cool. So I walk off stage, and they're setting up for her. And then Beyonce walked up to watch Cardi set, and I was like, <laughs> Beyonce, if you had just come like an hour earlier, you could have saw me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where were you? I was, li you see, like the pictures where Cardi and Beyonce are hugging when they met for the first time, I'm the big blue ball of like tulle, because I'm hey wearing this big tulle yeah. blue dress, and I'm like in the background, I'm just like, Beyonce, you could have been in my set. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all oh good, it was so crazy to watch her watch Cardi. Um, and now this year, you know, who knows? Yeah, you, Maybe Cardi, she'll watch my set. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Travis Scott is coming this year. It's going to be another, it's going to be a good lineup. Lil Uzi. Yeah, Lil Uzi, mm -hmm. yeah. Just got announced, so. Love Uzi. So, do you love Philadelphia? Do you like what you Wait, do? Uzi's from Philly. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I do like Philadelphia. Um, yeah. my whole, my crew likes it, too. Yeah. Like, my... My team, they got lost in the streets. Yeah? They were like, yeah, I just went and I found this frozen rosé, frosé. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I never even heard of that. But that y'all y'all are wild with it. Like, yeah. they've been going out and just going shopping. It's like one of the best food cities like I've ever been in. Someone got a haircut. They were like, I'm just going <laughs> like, to wait for Philly to get a haircut. You I'm haven't like, even been okay. here for 24 hours. You guys are having a damn day. We're resourceful. Yeah. Uh, we, we don't get much time in cities, so we make the best of it. That's awesome. Before I let you go, uh, <coughs> sold out show here at the TLA. I was told to ask you this question. If you were have a dinner party with three guests, any three people, dead or alive, who was your, uh, your dinner party? So who told you to ask me? My fiance. Okay. <laughs> She's right there. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. that like, that's like a, that's something you She asks like people when they come over to dinner, like she asked this question. It's an icebreaker. She, um, wants, she wants to know. Okay. Yeah. Um. No, you know, I feel like no, not not Beyonce, of course. I would love to hang out with her in real life, beyond fantasy. But in my fantasy though, I get to go into different time periods. It's true. Um, I always say I wanted to talk to the first woman. So like I would love to invite the first woman ever, um, to my dinner party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and and what are you cooking? That's a curveball. What are you making? Um wait, you said three people. Three people. The first woman ever, I would I would want Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Freddie Mercury, nice. That's funny, so you know what, the first woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, they found her skeleton in the middle of Africa. So I'm I'm like, yo, she was real. Bring her ass. Uh, <laughs> I want to know what happens, you know. Freddie Mercury and then um, 
who is my third person? Oh, you know who the f come? I want to talk to Mozart. Oh, but he's deaf though, and I rem I remember. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't it's I don't true. I don't think we would be able to. Yeah, connect. Damn. The way you'd want to. But in this fantasy, we would have like a synergy. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Yes. But I'm wondering. I don't think he knew. Yeah, he was Austrian. See, this is a good icebreaker. He didn't speak English because mm. there's American Sign Language. But back then, all right, in this fantasy, I would say Mozart, first woman ever, Freddie Mercury. Wow. And, and we would have a convers we'd have conversations. What are, you, what are you cooking for them? Um, <laughs> I would assume we would all enjoy sausage. Lizzo. Ooh. Love you, Lizzo. Thank Thanks, you so much guys. for coming through. Uh, Sold out show here at the T TLA. Thank you guys for joining us. Appreciate it. Give it up for Lizzo. Thank you.